Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi, you're so welcome. Welcome. Ayola, hi. How are you? Good afternoon. It's so good to have you here. Oma, hi. Good afternoon. You're so welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Hi. Hi. I just want to wait for um, people to join before I um, start. And more so, today is more about um, us, you know, um, communicating and connecting well. So I would just like you to drop your questions in the comment section. Any question that you have, um, just drop it in the comment section while I wait for others to join in before I keep off and start. Um, Bonex, how far? Hi, I'm waving back at you. You're so welcome. I see someone requesting to join me already. Hi, don't worry, I'm actually going to accept your request because today actually promises to be extremely interactive and it promises to be so much fun. Hi, I'm waving back at you. Don't worry, we will reply you. We will definitely reply you, Oma. Apologies for that. You know, I'm actually doing live right now. I don't know if it's me you've been chatting with or my colleague, but I'm doing live right now. So definitely, I'm going to reply you as soon as I'm done with um, the live. You're so welcome, Oma. Hi. You're so welcome. I'm waving back at you. Hi. Oh, I understand. Oma, you said you can't stay here because you're, um, you're at work. But please, just hang on a little bit longer. We just want to have a, a little discussion and just um, have a chat in respect to admissions for next year. You know, um, um, right now, we are moving very, very close to December and January is just around the corner. And we just want to talk about um, next year, 2022 and all of that. So it's more about questions that you might have in respect to your admissions for um, 2022 in general, be it January, be it May, be it September. It's just more about questions. So I, it's, it promises to be extremely interactive, actually. So let me just introduce myself. Hi, I am Mo from Nexi Concept Limited. And today, the topic we'll be talking about is um, more about frequently asked questions that um, a lot of students have with respect to studying abroad. And most especially for the year 2022, um, be it for January intake, for um, May intake, for September intake, whatever intake it is that um, is more of a preference to you. Um, today we just want to talk about it. So it actually, it's actually um, going to be extremely interactive. Like I'm going to be asking some people to join me and just chat with me and just um, for us to just have fun. You understand what I mean? So please just drop your questions in the comment section and I will definitely attend to them. And also, um, I know that some questions have been dropped for me before now and I intend to attend to all of them as well. So you're all welcome. It's so nice to meet you, Omar. You're so cute. I see your, your DP. It's so beautiful. Um, so nice to meet you. I'm definitely going to be reading your questions as well. So please drop your questions in the comment section. I'll be sure to attend to them. Okay, so um, part of the questions that... Um, some students will always ask, um, like, will taking a postgraduate qualification help my career? Okay, so now the thing is, with respect to you, um, with respect to you traveling, and with respect to you uh, wanting to progress in your career, the truth is that it's actually um, very important for you to note that um, career progression is actually very important. If you understand what I mean. Um, so say you studied accounting in school and you definitely want to progress to um, accounting for your MSc. It's very, very important to know that you need to know exactly um, where your passion is. So if what you studied in school is not in line with what you really want to do and you decide that, okay, you know what, I actually want to work somewhere else. Okay, so say you studied accounting and then you found out that you started working in um, a very corporate organization, say like a travel agency for instance, and you say, you know what, okay, what I actually want to do is um, uh, or a, a company that does maybe like project management, and you say, you know what, okay, what I actually want to do is more of like uh, project management and all of that. Okay, so now the thing is, in line of that, once you decide that, okay, I actually want to change my career path, then you can decide that, okay, I actually want to get an MSc to solidify on that career path that I want to change, if you know what I mean. So, okay, so say, I actually, is it that, now, what I'm trying to explain here is that we have two different ways of, of um, ensuring that you're going towards the right direction. So it's either you are um, going through, it's either you are going through um, um, what, what, what you actually studied 
for your BSc, or you go through your work experience. That's, those are the two things that we use in actually determining um, whether or not you're actually making the right decision in respect to your career path. So say what you studied in school does not go in line with what you're actually doing in respect to work, and you want to progress in your career, you want to um, definitely uh, move forward in your career, then you can always get an MSc and get a postgraduate, and it will help to solidify on that knowledge which you already know. Do you understand? As, as a matter of fact, it's another advantage for you though. So it will actually help to make sure that you're more grounded and more solidified in whatever, whatever it is that you actually um, already know, if you understand what I mean. Um, so, um, I'm definitely going to be accepting your request. I'm going to be accepting your request. Um, just give me a minute. Um, and then please just drop your questions, like I said, in the comment section, and I'll be sure to attend to them. Um, so uh, we have other questions like, um, um, so some students will always ask you like, um, am I completing my undergraduate um, studies? Like how difficult or how different will it be if I study at postgraduate, um, okay, sorry. Okay, a student practically, let me put it this way, a student practically just asked me that I'm completing my, my, as I'm completing my undergraduate studies, how different would it be for me to actually progress to my postgraduate? That is exactly what that was meant to be. So it was more asking about, um, say, I actually just finished my postgraduate, my undergraduate studies, like, um, so say I want to go for, I studied undergraduate in accounting and I want to go for my MSc in accounting that is actually going to be a little bit different from what I already know. The truth is that having your knowledge in accounting on as an undergraduate level um, serves as a bedrock for you. So the truth is that it is really, really not far-fetched and these things, they go hand in hand and they go in line. Now the only difference is that MSc or postgraduate is more of a little bit of an advanced um, it's more advanced in a little bit of way. So it's not really, really as dif different from what you actually know and what you know as your foundation and as your um, basic knowledge, if you understand what I mean. So it's always very important to know that you shouldn't be scared of moving forward to having your postgraduate. It's actually um, an amazing opportunity for you to say, you know what, I actually want to progress in life and I want to go forward to having my postgraduate, if you understand what I mean. Hi, I see you joining. Welcome. You're so welcome. I just want to um, talk about frequently asked questions of different students with different um, peculiarities in their questions, if you understand what I mean. So today is actually more of like um, an interactive session where we just um, reminisce on the past questions that have been asked by various students in respect to their studies. And this would actually help to propel you looking forward to 2000, um, to 2022. Say you want, you want to study um, abroad for 2022. This will actually help to, for you to have a basic understanding and basic knowledge from um, all this that has been asked before. I see you joining. Hi. Um, Tunde Ola. Hi. Good afternoon. You're so welcome. It's so good to see you. Hi. Good afternoon. Okay, so um, some would always ask as well, like, um, can I study part-time at postgraduate level or distance learning? Now, the truth is this, like I always say that um, post part-time is not available for international students. So most of the time, international students, they don't do part-time, if you understand what I mean. Um, we do, they only go for full-time, because you, from here, you are, you are served, you are seen as an international student, as long as you're actually going over to their own side. So for, for, for um, international students, part-time and distance learning is mostly not available. So you understand what I mean? Um, so some would always say that, uh, what are the fees for postgraduate degrees? Now the truth is that fees actually range. We have different ranges for these fees. Um, and it also has to do with, it has to do with your budget. It has to do with how much you have. It has to do with, um, it has to do with a whole lot of factors. It has to do with um, the location of the school where you want to go to, your preference in respect to the school. Okay, so take for instance now schools like Coventry. Coventry is pretty pricey, really, really pricey. But the truth is that you have students that would always want to go to Coventry. You know why? Because they will tell you that they have relatives there. So regardless of the fees or how much they're actually going to pay, they really don't mind. Hi, I'm waving up back at you. Sasu, hi, good afternoon. So they will tell you that they really don't mind, that they don't mind paying that amount of money. So. Um, it actually, like I said, it depends on your budget and your preference as well also matters. So um, it's always good to put all this into consideration and just note all this, all right? Um, so 
some would always ask us as well they'll ask that do we help with funding like um, some would even say that um, they want direct full scholarship from the school and all of that now the truth is that um, in respect to proof of funds if you are say you've already you've already gotten admission and then you're stuck and you don't know what to do about proof of funds now because I know that say January is around the corner we have a lot of students that are even still meeting up with us right now and asking us that they want us to help them put in for January, that they want January. But the truth is that most of these schools are closed already. So um, in respect to funding, um, in respect to the proof of funds, so say, say you actually want to go for January and um, you, you've gotten your offer already and you don't have the proof of funds, you can always contact us. And one way or another, we will see how we can help you to um, meet with those that would help you to actually get that done. Do you understand what I mean? So if you are in that category of those that need funding, like proof of funds, to be in your accounts, you know, for UK for 28 days, and you don't have that, you could always reach out to us and then um, send us a DM. Reach out to us and we'll see how we can help you. Hi, I'm waving back at you. Any, hi, good afternoon. So send us a DM and we'll see how we can help you to ensure that you get that. But we would talk about it when you contact us because I wouldn't be discussing that here but when you contact us we will let you know then in, in terms of scholarships now we the way we work is that we work with schools that would always give you discounted fees so they would they would actually um they would reduce your tuition fee so there are some schools that are so low that is already discounted do you understand the tuition fee is so low that is already discounted now but so there are some other schools as well that um, they would give you the, the total tuition fee and then they would discount for um, that fee. <laughs> hi, Ife, hi, good afternoon. I see your comment. I'm actually going to attend to all comments. So if you have questions, please just drop it in the comment section. I'm going to attend to them, okay? Um, I just want to just um, go through some of the new questions that I have from students and let's just rub minds together with respect to that, okay? Um, so. Um, I was talking about um, discounted fees. So now we have different schools that will give you different scholarships. I'm um, sorry, different um, yeah scholarships. They would break down. Uh, they'll take some portion of your tuition fee. Now the truth is this: this discounts that will be given is at the discretion of the school. Please note that it is not us that will tell you um, how much you will be will you be given. The school will tell you how much they would give you. And this, these decisions are actually made from the documents that you provide. So say um, you dropped your, your document, your certificate, and we are seeing that you have a first class. There's an amount of um, money that will be taken out of your tuition fee to help you so that your dreams can actually be met and um, your dreams can be fulfilled. Isn't that amazing? So um, we have that as an option. But in respect to proof of funds, like I said, you would um, please contact us and then we'll see how we can help you in respect to that. Um, and also, some would always always ask as well, they will ask that, um, can I study at postgraduate level without going um, to university or without a first degree? Now, the truth is that, mm, uh, some would say they want to just go. They have work and then they want to move to postgraduate. It doesn't work that way. To be honest, it really doesn't work that way. Um, now, there are two ways. You, is that you have your, your BSc or you have an HND? You know, so if you have, um, say, now you have an HND, we have schools that we can give you that will propel you to direct MSc as long as you have minimum of five years work experience in a managerial position. So that would help. Um, but you need to contact us, send us a DM. So once you send us a DM, we'll tell you about those schools that give that amazing offer. Because the truth is that, like I always say, that most HND, they get um, top up, is what they get. But now, with these opportunities that these schools give, with five years work experience, you can definitely go and um, with your family and travel. You know, take them as dependents. And then, a plus to it is that you're studying MSc. You get, but you need to have five years work experience in a managerial position for this to happen. You get, um, so I just wanted to put it out there so that you note um, that. Um, so now, some, some, some would ask you what are the entry requirements for postgraduate. Now, the thing is, this um, we always ask for some specific documents, like we ask for your CV, your references, your certificates, we always ask for your transcripts. And now, some students will always provide student copy transcripts. Please note that. 
um, official transcript is what is needed. You know, the student copy transcripts can only get you as far as a conditional offer. But what is actually really, really needed for you to get an unconditional offer is your, official, uh, is your official transcript. So it's a very important. So even if you provide your student's copy transcript, we'll still tell you to go back and get the official transcript, if you know what I mean. So hi, I see you all joining. Hi, midday, hi. That last person that just joined. Everyone, hi. Good afternoon. You're so welcome. No, we actually just written questions, frequently asked questions of um, students, um, question and answers of students that have um, one um, issue or the other with respect to studying abroad or they have that fear of actually wanting to study or they, they actually just don't know how to go about it you understand it's really really very easy as long as you follow us and you come to us to meet with us and tell us that you know what i actually want you guys to help me and then we will help you to make your dreams come true okay so um now, so those are the basic documents that we we'll always ask for. We we'll ask for your YA, we we'll ask for your international passports, and all of that, and so much more. But now the thing is this, we would really, really like to work with you by asking that you send us a DM, say you are interested in um, making your dreams come through for 2022. So if you want to go in for, um, say, you want to go for September, you want to go for May. Now the thing is, like I said, for January, most of the schools are actually closed. So now for all those that would always say, I want January, that January is what I want to, I wish January could actually happen. The truth is that most of them have closed. They are most of, for most of the schools, their deadline is November. Please, if you have any questions, always drop your question in the comment section and I'll definitely attend to them. So like I said, most of, their, uh, most of them are actually in November, their deadline. So now we have May intake, we have September intake, you know, that would actually be available for you, for those that want to go to the UK. Um, to study and some would always ask us as well that what are your charges as a matter of fact um you, you just um okay i said to, to chat you up i am not even telling me about your charges i don't understand why you won't even be talking to me about charges i are asking me for documents and all of that but the truth is that um our charges in the uk is free we'll do all these things for you because we care you know we, and our charges are actually free for um uk so um, I would like you to note that. And a lot of people get surprised and they'll be like, oh, so how do you guys make money if you are free? You know, but just leave that to us. All you need to know is that you are coming to meet with us and our charges are free for UK, if you understand what I mean. So um, I just wanted to put it out there so that you will note um, that. Also, um, we have questions such as, um, what can I do to increase chances of getting into a postgraduate course? Now, um, the chance, the, the availability of schools are there. The availability of multiple courses are there. The, um, as a matter of fact, we are here to actually help you to actualize it. So the truth is, um, you really don't have anything to worry about. Though. The only thing that you need is your interests and your budget. As long as you are willing to actually go through with it, we'll make it. And besides, we know fully well that almost everybody just wants to jump back. Isn't it? So, and the truth is, we are actually here to actually help you to make that um, come through, if you know what I mean. Hi, good afternoon. I see you joining. Um, you're so welcome. Um, so, we have um, some other questions will be like, um, they don't even know how to go about And now, we have some students that will tell you that they've actually already started applying by themselves and they are stuck or they feel like the school hasn't gotten back to them or something or they don't know how to go about this. Now, we have a lot of cases like that. If you're part of one of those um, students, please send us a DM so that we can see how we can help you. And like I said, UK is free, so we can see how we can help you but um, and, um, to, and help you to actually meet with those schools and liaise with them on your behalf. So ensure that you get your results on time in a timely manner now so say you're looking to go to for um september next year now for undergraduates that actually want to study abroad i would advise that you start your applications now as a matter of fact for those that want to go for september next year we start putting in the application so what are you waiting for so if you truly 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 your dream is actually to jaguar please i would advise that we start working on it for you from now Please send us your send us a DM, send us your documents so that we can start actualizing and making your dreams come through from now, if you understand what I mean. Because the truth is that 
um, it gives you an added advantage because while everybody else is rushing towards September, you're planning on traveling. As a matter of fact, between um, three weeks to your resumption, you can actually be in the UK. You'll be surely flexing and having fun. Do you understand what I mean? So it gives you an added advantage for you to plan yourself well enough if you start your process now. It is not too late to start September intake for 2022 right now. It is not too late to start May intake for 2022 right now. The truth is for, for January, we are very, very sorry to say that most of the schools are actually closed for the application for January because they need to process their cars, they need to process their visa, some schools do interview, you know, so they have a lot of processing to do. I'm, I'm very sure that that is why they actually closed that early. But most importantly, for, for undergraduates, their intake is September, you understand? Their intake for undergraduates is September, but UCAS is within January. Like I always say, so we'll advise that start applying from now so that we can put you in through UCAS and um, you can just go through and do your, um, go for your undergraduates. Um, and then for those that are already in school, so say you are, you're studying your BSc already and you see yourself traveling and studying abroad, we can also help you. The truth is, it's not limited to those that actually just finished WAIC. If you are, you are saying you are in 200 level and you want to continue abroad, we are here to actually help you make that come true, if you understand what I mean. So whatever it is that you have, whatever challenge it is that you have in respect to traveling, just um, come to us and we'll definitely be here to help you and meet your needs. Um, so basically, um, now another question might be, um, Nimi, hi, good afternoon, welcome, you're so welcome. So another question, I'm, I'm treating questions today. So another question might be that, um, can I apply to more than one university for a particular course? Now the truth is that yes, as a matter of fact, eh, just for you to understand how much we are actually here to help you, yeah, we will not just put you in for one school. We'll help you to put, uh, we'll help you to put in your application to as much as two, three schools sometimes. You understand what I mean? So we actually help to make your chances much more um, larger by putting you into like three schools. So you have choices. You have different tuition fees. And then anyone that comes out and you actually feel like you're actually good with this one, then you go for it. So we, we are not putting you in two for one. We are putting you in two for two and sometimes three. Oyelala, hi. Good afternoon. You're so welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So we have the opportunity to help you expand um, your, your um, to leverage on these schools by putting you in for not just one, two, and sometimes three schools at the same time for the, the same course, as a matter of fact. And now sometimes a student might decide that they actually want to put in for um, the same school but different courses. It's not advisable because if you do that, we always believe that it lowers your chances of getting a result from that school on time. So rather than doing that, we would advise that you know what? Why don't you um, let us put you in for more than one school? For you can even want you can even decide that you know what? I actually want to do more than um, one course. I want to try my um, um, chances and say hello, hi, uh, uh, man like Dara. Hi, good afternoon. So you might say that. Um, I actually want to try my chances and say, you know what, let me just put in for more than one school. We'll definitely help you to do that. So we, but we need to understand that you have the right, um, the right interest and the budget to actually go through with it. And then we'll, we are good to go to help you to make your dreams come through. So, um, so if you say, when should I apply? When should I start? Is September not far away? Um, I still have enough time. The truth is that you don't have enough time. We need to start now. Do you understand what I mean? I see a request coming in. I will definitely ac accept the request. I actually want to take the questions um, in the comment section first, and then I'm going to accept your request. So please just give me a minute. I just want to go through um, the questions in the comment section. Um, okay, uh, yeah, Omar, Omar, please, we are going to reply you like I said. Okay, you said you're at work. Um, you said you don't know which. Okay. Yeah, so to be honest, I mean, I don't know if it's me you're chatting with or my colleague, but whoever it is, I'm very sure that it will attend to you as soon as possible. Um, it's almost, yeah, so am I saying that it's almost, yeah, it's exactly, it's almost um, January. I need to know whether it is possible. I can't wait till September. Oh my, the truth is that January is, hmm, most schools are closed for January. That's just the truth. Most schools are actually closed for January. And, um, 
it's we would always advise that it, rather than just doing January right now we're in November already. When do you want to start counting your 20 days back statement? When do you want to prepare for interview? When do you want to prepare for your class and all that? You know what I mean? So it's really close. So we would advise that um, let's put you in for May or we put you in for September. And the good thing is this, we can put you in for May and put you in for September. How about that? So why don't you send us a DM and let's see how we can help you to just make sure that everything falls in line and you you meet up to um, um, ensuring that you you get your dreams um, met you know we, we help you to make sure that you actually meet up to your dreams do you understand what I mean so we can actually decide that okay you know what we'll put you in for May and then we'll put you in for September to be on the safe side so how about that so if you are interested in that oh my please just send us a DM um, I don't know if you come back online I don't know if you said you're still at work if you come back online and you see this just send us a DM and um, we would help you to see how we can make it faster for you. Do you understand what I mean? Um, Omar says, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. You're so welcome. Um, I just want to go through some questions that I see here. Okay, someone says, um, Ellie's Glow says, I'm a registered nurse in Nigeria. Um, intended intend doing my BSc abroad. How do I go about this? Okay, so Ellie, um, can you kindly send us a direct message on Instagram? And you will be directed to a counselor that would help to answer your questions very, very well. But the, the good thing is that as you are a registered nurse, you can definitely get nursing. Definitely, most definitely. And we can see how we can help you to make that come through. So, and as a matter of fact, you will be hot cake. Do you realize that? So please send us a DM so that we can help make your dreams come through. All right? Um, also, I just want to go through some questions and see. Uh, oh. Ife, great job, my sis. Well done. Oh, thank you so much. It's so good to see you. Okay, he says, Ife says, good job. Well done. Thank you. Um, is interview okay? Someone says, um, Oto me or something. Sorry, I'm so sorry if I missed if I didn't pronounce your well, your name well. But let me just use the last three digits. Seven 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 says, um, is interview required for UK visa? Um, now for right now, before now, eh, as I. So, say 2020, they were doing interview for visa. It was interview, it was strictly interview, and it was intense. They can call you at any time, as a matter of fact. But the good thing is this: right now, what you do is biometrics. So, what the interview, the interview I was talking about is for the schools. Most of the schools, they want to be sure that they're actually taking um, sound-minded students, students that are astute, and students that know what they are doing, and they know what they want to go for, and they know what they actually want to do in future you know it's always very important that they know okay say the student um, has future career plans and future career goals so it's always very very important you understand what i mean so um interview is always conducted for those um schools so not all schools like i said not all schools but some schools will always say you know what we want as a matter of fact some would even do a phone call interview and some would do a video interview so it depends on the preference of the school and some will not even do interview at all do you know do you know the amazing thing is that some schools will take transcripts some schools will not take transcript though do you know that so we have some schools that would actually will put you in for without your transcript but the, here is the catch. Now, some of them would say, as your deposit, you pay 50% of your tuition fee as deposit. Do you understand? So, that's, so we have different schools with different purposes and these conditions and uh, requirements and these conditions, they need to be met. You understand? So the, the good thing is that we are actually help, here to help you to um, sieve out um, those schools and tailor whichever school it is that we're giving you to meet your needs. So. As a matter of fact, eh, 2022 is going to be seamless for you as long as you work with us. So what are you waiting for? Please send us a DM and let us help you and make sure that we start putting you in as soon as possible. So um, please have that in mind and, um, and just um, remember that. So let me just keep going through the questions. I just want to see. Okay. Um, Landnest says, but how would you apply with official transcripts when you don't know the school to send it to? Okay, um, now the thing is this, we, some schools would accept our agency for the transcripts, yeah? Some schools will say they want to send it directly to the school, um, Landnest. Some schools will say, 
um, they want to send it directly, like some universities here in Nigeria will say that they want to send it directly to the school. Some will say they can send it to an agent. So now, it depends on the school that you are, um, that you are from. Do you understand what I mean? So now, what we would do for you is that when we know that you actually want to request for your official transcript, we would send an email to you, either from us or directly from the UK. Now, another thing we do is that, um, I don't know, so I know that most of you would have worked with me and you realize that um, some links will be sent to you in respect to the choices of schools that you want, you want to um, go for. So by that, you already have an idea of the school that you want to go for. Do you understand what I mean? And then we already, um, we already start working towards helping you to put you in for those schools. So now we have um, some representatives already in those schools and a general email address has been created that would always um, help to track your transcript and locate your transcript from the school, if you understand what I mean. So it makes it very, very easy for us to be able to get your transcript. And if you want to send it to us directly, we'll definitely get it for you and send it to you as well. So there are different ways of, make, of ensuring that we get these things done. And if you want to apply without your transcript, then it's fine. We could always do that as well. So it depends on what, what exactly um, your preference is, if you understand what I mean. So, um, let me see, let me see. I'm just trying to answer your questions. Um, so if I say, please, ma, I want to find out if I would be required to pay the IHS fees required for two years master's program while in Nigeria, or I only need to pay for a year here and then pay um, for the final year in the... Okay, you didn't finish that. Okay, so I guess what you're asking for is, okay, so you say say you want to go for um, a two-year program, a two-year IHS, um, a two-year program, yeah, and you are required to pay IHS fee. Now, the, the good thing is this, the IHS fee is um, auto-generated. So the moment we are actually putting you in for visa, um, and we are applying for your visa, and we get to the IHS part, yeah, sorry, yeah, it's also generated yes, yes. So. So as long as we are putting you in, and we put in your start date, and we put in your end date, the IHS automatically generates the fees that you'll be paying. So it calculates it for you. So whatever it is that has been calculated for you is exactly what you're paying. So um, the duration that you're staying for has all been all encompassing in one, if you understand what I'm saying. So we, as long as, because where we are putting in for your visa, we put in your start date, we put in your end date. So it, it's very, I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain. So we put in your start date, we put in your end date. So even if your course is a five year course, as long as it is auto generated, as long as it's auto generated, um, it is calculated like that. It's a system that is already in place that is um, that calculates the IHS. It's not like somebody is actually going to say, this is how much you, you'll be required to pay for IHS. If you understand what I mean, so that's exactly how it works. I hope that answers your question, if uh... okay. So, um, Fal um, Falana says, um, I have been unable to get my transcript from my school. Is it still okay to start the process? I want to go September, my dear. It is very, very okay. Please send us a DM, Falana, and let us help you to actually um, start working towards your process right now. Do you understand? So just send us a DM, we will request for the documents that you have, and then you can start making your choices in respect to the school you want to go for. Do you understand what I mean? And then um, we'll see how we can work towards ensuring that you get, you get your transcripts as soon as possible. Because without your transcripts, it's always very, very hard for you for the school to make a decision. Because they need to see um, the courses that you studied in school, they want to see if it's in relation to whatever it is that you want to go for, if you understand what I mean. So it's actually very important that we do get it. But um, so now another option is that we can actually apply for you to schools that do not accept transcripts. Like they can take you in with or without your transcript. So we can actually apply for you in those schools and you get um, a higher chance of getting your admission on time as well so oh you lola hi good afternoon oh, you <laughs> hope you're good how are you okay so you your question is what does um integrated confirmation of acceptance of studies um okay does it allow one to go with his spouse now um your confirmation of acceptance of studies is called cas 
Now, for that, that is for students that actually um, want to study abroad. Now, after you've paid your deposit, you okay, so say you get an offer and your offer is unconditional. That means that you've been accepted by the school. Yeah? And then you pay your deposit. After you pay your deposit, now some schools will require that you do an interview and some will require that you don't. Now, for those that will require that you do an interview with them, um, after you pay your interview, you get your cast. Now, for some, they would require that you don't need transcripts. I'm sorry, you don't need proof of funds. We have schools that will say, you know what, you don't, we don't need your proof of funds and neither do we need to do an interview with you. The moment you don't pay in, we are giving you your cast. Now, without that cast, you can't move forward, you can't apply for visa. So that confirmation of acceptance of study is what a student would get to apply for visa. And now the good thing is this, the, for your MSc, you can definitely go with your dependents. As long as you've got to your class and they will apply for you and they will apply for your dependents as well. So your dependents can definitely go with you. Oh, you know, I hope that answers your question though. All right. So you can definitely go with your spouse. And also, for your spouse to go with you would require that um, you have your marriage um, certificate, you have your newspaper publication. We need evidence to show that you guys are um, married, if you understand what I mean. And also, there's another other option of you saying, you know what, okay, I actually want to go. I want, I want to go. Okay, maybe say you have um, funds are not too much available. And you say, you know what, okay, I actually want to go. And I want my spouse to come and join me. Then that is also very, very possible. If you know what I mean, I would always put you through and let you know how it works. So the, the good thing is this, eh? whatever your challenge is, when it comes to traveling, we are here to actually meet your needs in that, in that regard. To answer your question, whatever you see as a challenge, okay, so say I don't have enough money and I want to go and I need my spouse to join me, we'll have a solution for you. Say, um, I don't want to go um, in May, I want to go in September, we have a solution for you. Whatever you see as a challenge, we at Nexi, we have the solution. So all we just need from you is send us a DM, tell us your challenge, and we'll definitely provide you a solution. Because we are solution providers, if you understand what I mean. And we are here to actually help to meet your needs. You get so um and to make you smile at the end of the day and send us testimonials and be like, Hi guys, look at me now. I've gotten to the UK and I'm balling. You know what I mean? So that is what we want to see. You get so um Oi, I hope I hope that answers your question though. Um okay, Oi says yes. Okay, all right. Um okay, so um Stella says have you um, I've been asking can Canada give me admission with HND results to study PGD? Hmm. Stella, you are talking about Canada. I see you are talking about. Uh, I see you are talking about. I don't even know. Canada, Canada and Australia, eh, those two countries, they are, they are like this. <laughs> if you know what I mean. The truth is this: eh, Canada has very strict policies, and that is why we charge for Canada. Canada, I'm not going to tell you how much we charge. You need to contact me to know that. Now, Canada has very strict policies, and I won't lie to you. The truth is, except you want to go for a college, yeah? So say you want to go for direct um, PGD, you want to go for MSc. The truth is, it is so slim. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, those that have BSc, they need to have a 2-1 to apply. And even with your 2-1, your statement of purpose has to be I don't know what word to use for it, but it has to be top notch. If you understand what I mean, your statements of purpose, your you need to be so convincing with your grades, with your everything, every your documentation has to be on point for you to be able to get Canada. And even as a matter of fact, with you be with us processing Canada for you, we'll still tell you the chances of it being 50-50. If you understand what I mean, because Canada is really, really strict with their policies. So it's really um, a slim chance. Except you don't want to try colleges now you can say okay let's see how we can try colleges for you and see if you want to get a college in Canada Stella I hope that answers your question okay so um AB AB is saying hello hello AB hi good afternoon you're so welcome if I says thanks so much for the IHS clarification my very clear all right I'm so happy I'm so happy about that okay so if I says I'm looking at studying at um, University of Hope you have a Seriously, if I send us a DM today, 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 please send us a DM today so that we can help you because the truth is that Hall has started um, for, for their entry 
for September 2022. We started already, and a lot of students are actually rushing for hall right now. So before they start saying that um, this, this course is closed, that course is closed, we would advise that please send us a DM for hall. And you know that hall is relatively cheap, right? So send us a DM for hall so that we can process your documents and put in your application ASAP. So you say, um, kindly confirm if they don't require transcript. All will require transcript or if they, and all will require WAEC. So please note that. You need to have WAEC, not NECO. You need to have WAEC. It's very important that you note that. So please, but if um, if you are interested in a whole, please send us a DM. Let's process your for you from now so that you can be rest assured. Imagine you getting your admission mm -hmm. before the, the first um, quarter of the year in 2022. How would you feel? You just be boring. You see people rushing for admission. You just be like, Okay, let them just rush. Let them just rush. Me, I'm just boiling. I'm just waiting. You know what I mean? So please just um, send us a DM. Let's start processing you right now for um, 2022 because the truth is that you might think that you have a lot of time, but the truth is you really don't have time to do all these things and get all these things done. Okay, so um, Zeb says, um, how is application still? Hello, is application still on? Yeah, mm -hmm. my dear, application is always on. It just depends on the intake that you want. And like I said, January is really, really close, and most of the courses are actually gone. Um, most of the schools are actually closed for January, but we can put you in for, say, May. We can put you in for, say, September um, 2022. Um, Zeb says, I have all my documents. Zeb, what are you waiting for? Mm? You have all your documents, and you're, you're holding on to them. So why don't you send us your documents now, eh, Zeb? Send us your documents, and let us start helping you to process and like I said, remember that I said we can we can process for more than one school for you. So you have an amazing opportunity to choose from different schools and just wait while we do all the work for you. And just to make you happy. Yeah? So please uh, send us your documents, send us a DM, and um, let's start making your dreams come through. Okay. So um I just want to see. Okay, someone says. AB says, hello, um, are there scholarship programs in the UK for bachelor degree? Um, now, like I told you before, earlier, that um, the truth is that most of these schools give um, discounted rate fees, and it's at their discretion. So definitely, for bachelors, yes, you would always get a discounted fee. But remember, it's at the discretion of the school. But if you are interested in bachelors, AB, um, Damilari, please send us 